Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Puneet, and in this video, we will discuss some key ideas around micro-productivity, and I will show you five of my favorite Mac applications in this category. Now, if you're starting your productivity journey, I suggest you watch this video on getting things done methodology, which is the basis of many productivity ideas, and learn about the two-minute rule. One way to get things done is to break things you wanna do into micro-tasks, a process also called chunking. Once you have these chunks, the next step is to look for those tasks that are in the same category. Let's say those tasks are those that can be done in two minutes or less and are distracting enough to disrupt our state of flow. Now you may have experienced a flow state at some point. It's a state of fluidity between your body and mind where you're totally absorbed by and deeply focused on something beyond the point of distraction. Time feels like it has slowed down, creating a sense of effortless momentum. Psychologists discovered this state by interviewing high-performing individuals like mountain climbers, chess players, surgeons, and ballet dancers. It is estimated that in this state, the human mind can process 120 bits of information per second. In the real world, while we're in this state, we often need to do tasks that are disruptive. You may have to send a quick email, locate a certain file on your computer, or open another application to do that little something. You know what I'm talking about. The reason these apps help is to help us minimize the time we spend in the distracted state and get us back to our flow state. So the first app that I wanted to show you is this app called Alfred. I've been using their power pack since their earliest version. I think of it as a spotlight on steroids. Searching a file is simple, and if you have an older or duplicate versions of this file, it finds those quickly across your computer. It also learns with repeated use, so when I type the character F, it knows that I'm probably trying to open Final Cut Pro for editing my videos. It also has an inbuilt search function, so if I type COVID guidelines, it can do a quick Google search for the latest update. I love it that it has a calculator built in, and also that it allows me to open websites with passwords stored in my favorite 1Password application, 1Password. It even allows me to start an email with anyone in my contacts. The second application I wanted to show is the application PopClip. Now this app is the most subtle app on my Mac and only pops up when I select text and it shows my selected items as a pop-up. Now there are over 200 actions available on the website. My favorite ones are searching Google, cut, copy, paste, email, editing the title case, counting the words that I might be writing in my script, and finally creating snippets on Text Expander. Which brings us to this powerhouse of an application called Text Expander. This application has saved me from typing 1.3 million characters on my computer alone. It creates snippets or macros that you can use. For example, typing date with two Ds at the beginning can type up today's date. My email signature snippet is my initials followed by the word sign, and it pulls up my signature. It is also very quickly able to type up my work address if I'm filling a form. It gets even more fancy. If I'm sitting in an audience in a meeting and listening to someone who's giving an amazing talk and I want to invite them for an article in my journal, I can type the letter invite with two E's at the end, which pops up this window, which enables me to send them an invite in a matter of seconds. You get the idea. Now remember the goal is not to be mindlessly productive, but rather to be creative to be able to do things you couldn't do before. Video on that idea, linked above. Now the fourth app I wanted to show you is called Keysmith from the Setapp collection. Now Setapp is a curated collection of over 230 applications in an annual subscription model. So if you don't know how to code or you don't want to, you can record a series of actions on Keysmith and assign it a hotkey and then watch it repeat these complex tasks without much effort. Now I work on a widescreen monitor and I like to set up three windows side by side for my editorial work. Journal email, list of articles in press, and the journal's website. Now watch this. Now we all have a certain style of working and I may be more picky than most, but I know this app makes it effortless. The fifth and final application I wanted to show is also from my setup collection. We all want to be productive, but you can't solely rely on your willpower to make you productive. So you make a pact with yourself. Every day between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., you will block all of your distracting websites and application and only give yourself a break for 10 minutes just in case you needed to do something emergent that came up. If you try to break your own commitment, this app will remind you with a motivational code to get back to your deep work state. 
I've used SetApp for years now and I love several applications from their collection. I plan to make a separate video on my favorite apps in the SetApp collection. In the next few videos, I'll show you my productivity desk setup and how to configure Stream Deck, a device popular among streamers for productivity. Let me know in the comments below how you like this video and other videos on this channel, especially my personal finance series. I do my best to reply to all comments. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.